Okay, so we took a little break there, and um, now I'm just going to finish up the 2D um, paper model of our building. Um, we have our main part, like 80% of the building done, of these windows and walls. Um, and what I want to do next is work on the part uh, for uh, these decorative um, uh, pieces here and then we'll move on to the bottom and then finish off um, the rest of the main part of the building. So that part is right here. Uh, so I'm just going to drag this down here and it's going to go out to the very bottom here. Um, now if we bring up our reference here, uh, zoom in on this a little closer. All right. So uh, this covers a little bit of the window and then down on this part a little bit. So um, we're going to place it just above these windows. It uh, looks like we're going to have to bring it out a bit. Okay. And it's, it's going to line up just with these windows here. Uh, right now it's a little too big, so we're just going to scale it. Um, this will all, we'll go through all this later on in the uh, final one, but uh, for right now, um, uh, just this piece needs to be scaled. So um, now let's um, double check this C here, and um, I want to change the pivot point to probably this top one here, and then I'm going to copy it over and mirror it. Now, um, since we only have half, we have to copy the other half. But if, just a quick tip here, um, if we just take this and then go mirror and then hit copy, we'll get a copy of it, but um, it will be, the normals will be flipped. Uh, and sometimes that gives you problems when uh, moving on to next steps. You might not see it now, but um, especially in more detailed, uh, higher, higher poly objects. Um, so I like to kind of stay away from that and um, just do it manually. Um, so. I'll copy this over by holding shift, hit copy, and then mirror it, but do no clone. So it's only one piece. Um, and then uh, we can snap it to uh, to the other piece here. Uh, you might not see any difference right now since we're just working in 2D planes, but uh, usually I try to do it that way um, just because it, when it flips to normals, you get a whole bunch of problems later on. Um, and we might run into that later, but uh, for now, um, so this is about good here. It's about where it's at. A um, little error here. You know, it's not really not lining up, but um, that's that's pretty easy to fix. Uh, let's move it over just a hair. Actually, we're gonna have to move both of them over a hair. And I guess just for now, we'll just scale it up for for purposes of, of uh, just uh, making it look right. Okay. So um, if you look back, I had our reference. Those pretty much go the whole length of the building, even behind all this going on here. Um, so, uh, I'm just going to hold shift and line it up with the windows. And it might not line up here on the uh, grid part of it with this column, but that's okay. Actually, I want to redo that. Uh, I'm going to hold shift and copy it over and make sure it's lined up with the windows. And then on the confirmation, I'm going to put copies. Um, just a crazy amount just so we get enough and then we'll just delete the rest of these um, so now that's done um, you can see it's kind of off a little bit but uh, basically it's it fits um, pretty well um, so uh, now um, if we go to grab this window here that's going to be underneath these detailed parts um, let's rotate it 90 degrees and I'm going to do the same thing with this one, affect the pivot point and move it to the center that way we can just mirror it I copy it and then I suppose I could just hit clone make sure it's copied on instance and then mirror it um, that would probably be a little bit better workflow um, so this here is now going to go here. Um, it's not touching right now, but it, I guess it should be. Um, 
as you can see here. Um, but let's bring in this piece next to it, and that might solve the, the touching problem. Um, so that piece is going to be um, here. And I might as well bring this one with us too, because we'll be doing this one next. So, what we want is this piece here. I'm just going to center the pivot point. And if we snap this to here, that will give us this edge here. I'm just trying to see how that fits in there. It's going to be not level with the bottom. Uh, the real line is right here. So uh, it's not going to be level. It's going to be about there based on this line here. Um, and I'm going to also copy this over to the side. Okay, um, looks like we're bleeding some more wall here, um, so we could just uh, take that from here, that piece, and bring it down. If I go to, uh, let's see here, how will that work? Um, actually, it's supposed to be the same width as this, so looks like the only issue we're going to have is on the end. Um, so, what I want to do actually is line this up, just make it see through, and then line this up with the end. This one too. Just line that up with this part, this column. And they should be snapping, but since they're, they're not really parts that are, are actual parts, uh, they're not going to snap. Um, Okay, so yeah, um, and then the next part will be this uh, concrete part here. Um, looks like we also have some concrete underneath here, um, as we can see right here. So, um, just going to move the pivot point. Actually, it'd be better if the pivot was up here. We'll snap that to here, and then I'm just going to hit snap and drag it to there and make I don't know 40 copies maybe I don't know we'll see how long it goes but yeah that was about right 30 some 39 okay so now we have this extra part here that's not here so what we'll have to do in the final thing is just grab the edges and uh, go to connect and that will give us certain edges on edge faces on oops looks like we oh we already have them there so yeah, that's it's a good fit. So all we gotta do is delete the extra ones. Okay. So now we're we're kind of getting somewhere. Um, let's um, grab. I lost a piece here. Okay. Uh, let's grab these. We've got one half of the window there, and the other half here. Go back to our top view, which is really the front view, but um, that's okay. It looks like it's there's a little gap here, so I think we might have to move all these down. Yeah, that's that's what's gonna hap have to happen is we're just gonna have to move these down. So if that's the case, I want to select all of them. Just take, give me a second here; I'll get them all selected. If we would have combined them, we would have just had to select one, but since we already got them all, um, actually I'm just going to group them really quick. That way I can just move them all at once to about there. And then these windows, I'm going to group these and slide them over with the uh, shift key. And we're going to make 20 copies. I always do more copies than needed just because uh, I don't want to have to do the operation again and be missing this last one. Okay, so now if we look back at our reference, we only have the bottom to do and this whole detailed thing here, which we're going to wait on that for a while. Um, right now we're going to focus on the bottom uh, facade. So if 
we go back into 3 just Max, this might be a good time to save. Uh, I'll do a quick save. Okay, so this is the bottom part of the building, the bottom facade, or the street view. Um, this is what we'll be creating right now. Um, uh, and these are taken right from pictures that I took um, as the textures. Uh, our final product is going to be um, a customized uh, textures. Uh, so these are just going to be stand-ins for right now. Um, but it does give us a good clue how this is going to be built together and, and put together um, as far as uh, the pieces. Um, and so um, here, let's uh, get started on maybe these doors here. And then part of this whole section here we'll do. And then we'll just copy it over and mirror it to this side. So uh, if we grab our uh, leftover parts here, um, I'm going to grab these ones and just this for right now. And we'll just drag this over. Okay, so now uh, all this has to be rotated 90 degrees, so we're going to rotate them 90. And um, actually, we need this piece too, the flooring. So grab that and put that over here and actually that's uh, probably gonna start with this, this door here um, so uh, this is just a 2d plane and we're just gonna block out to make sure our textures line up and everything's symmetrical and and uh, everything's all good to go before we actually start uh, making the final textures so that is this whole thing here so you got one two three four doors and four sets of four doors. Okay, so um, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna clone it, a copy, not an instance. Then I'm gonna mirror it, and that gives us two doors. So I'm gonna take these two doors, turn on snap with the S key, and snap it right to there. And now we have our four doors. Um, we're gonna bring this piece over here, slide it onto the bottom. And see, it's a little short, so. Uh, we're going to be mostly modeling from our textures, so it's okay if we scale this up a little bit because uh, it needs to be. Um, it's actually a little bit more than what we need, but uh, a little bit more is probably better than a little bit less because it's going to be covered anyway. Um, and of course in the final one we'll make this exactly the right piece, but just for now, just blocking it in, um, I think it's, it's alright. Um, so, um, the next piece is going to be this one. So bring this over here and that's going to be exactly at that point there as we can see right here uh, and then we're going to make this thing this piece into here but right now it's missing its edges so we're going to have to get these brass edges here so we're going to have to get those and take the parts and use them for this also just to save texture space it's the same exact parts we're just going to have to break them up and throw them on here as well so I'm just going to copy this oh, wrong thing. Copy. I'm just going to copy this piece and um, turn on uh, edge faces and for right now we're just going to isolate this selection so I'm going to be working with this just this one piece and we're going to go to the front view so if we grab our vertices um, we're going to move some of these pieces um, actually I want to attach these pieces here and we're going to break up these pieces into individual parts. So what I want to do now is take these things and make sure you hit preserve UVs and slide these down. And then we're going to do the same thing with um, this line here. Move that up so that we can cut out this window and use just these edges. And we're going to move these down a little bit to cut out the window. Um, I'm going to move these all to the, make sure you select them all, and all to the right a little bit. And then I'm going to select all these and move them to the left. Okay, so now, um, now I want to create a copy of all this. And we'll actually use this for um, the actual piece. And then this one. So this is the same height as this. So, but we don't have uh, this whole metal piece right here. This that we're gonna have to make from this piece here. So we're actually gonna um, delete all the things on the inside and create the edges for the next piece. So 
You see what I want to do now is create a vert or uh, select on your vertex and hit cut, and then hit S for snap. And we're gonna make these corners have uh, corner edges, so that way we can cut them later. So now um, I'm going to detach this section. Uh, we're going to detach the corner, detach this one, and then do the same thing for these ones down here. Detach all these, and then this side, and then finally this piece here. Okay, so. Now we have our pieces, so I'm going to go back to the perspective view, zoom in on our parts here, and um, now we have our parts. So what I'm going to do is actually move the corners, actually I don't want that piece, and bring it over here, and then we're going to take this and snap it right to this corner here. All right. Um, I actually want the same, this is looking a little confusing right here right now, but um, I want th this thing to be the same height as this, so we're going to have to scale this picture down a bit, just so it fits in the part. Um, so we can grab this now, and snap. one's the corner one okay so it's gonna be the bottom one so this point here to here and now it's it's coming together pretty well here so um, if you look at a reference it actually has this piece too so I'm gonna copy this piece right to there oh. sometimes that happens um, and we actually have this end here, so that's we're gonna have to cut this piece actually. So I'm just gonna grab the edge tool and hit connect and turn on wireframe shading. Actually, undo that. Uh, don't do that. Uh, I'm just since it's already in slices, I'm just gonna create delete that one and delete. No. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that one, the end one. So now we can drag this and copy it. We're going to drag one more, copy it, and then we'll just delete what we don't need. And for this here, I'm just going to uh, uh, oh, that pivot point's way down there. Okay, so let's move the pivot point a little bit closer. So right there, turn off snap, and then I'm just going to scale it. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. That's going to be destructive. Um, so, actually, what I want to do is just copy this. And I'm going to create a line right here. And then uh, hit Preserve UVs. Move it over so it hits this point here. And then delete the rest. And now it's tileable. So now we gotta grab this piece and do the same kind of pro process where we're just copying these pieces over. Um, yeah, we're gonna wanna split that piece too. So if you go to your edge selection tool and then drag these two edges and then hit connect. And then we want not just one and then it makes a line and, and splits this poly and then we'll delete the end one and we'll do the same thing with the bottom down here Okay, so now 
we can grab this and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to grab it, grab it again and then rotate it 90 degrees and then I'm going to snap this to here and see that fits pretty perfectly um, so I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other side Okay, so now we have a little section here. Um, we're going to need a roof um, or a ceiling with these pieces here. So I'm going to go grab those from our leftover pieces. And it's going to be this brown one here. So I'm just going to bring this over. I'm going to flip it 180. And then I'm going to set the pivot point to the back right corner and then that will go right here it looks like it's a little short too smaller so we're just going to uh, scale this up to make it fit and then copy another one and then copy one more okay so now we have a little uh, entrance here. Um, now I'm going to create the rest of this entrance. Um, basically all we got to do is just copy this over and then do this piece. So, um, actually first thing I want to do is, is cut this piece out because uh, we don't need this extra end here. So we'll delete that. And it's not showing above because it's only one sided texture so um, one thing we're going to need is these three pieces four, or five pieces here make sure snaps on snap it right to here okay and then let's make this uh, little piece of this ticket booth here and that's going to be from this piece close-up shot of it right here so um, from the reference actually so let's open this up and basically um, this half is the same as the other half so um, looks like we have our regular piece here and then a bend it looks like another piece uh, and then mirror that for the other half so I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees up change the pivot point right away change it down here and then grab this here copy it there and I'm going to do a bend a bend procedure and it's going to be 90 degrees so now we have that and then we'll uh, copy this again Make sure you get it to the right point, and then rotate it 90. Now, we could make this a group, and then copy it. Um, change the pivot point, and then Control V to copy it, and then mirror it. And now we have that. So, let's place this into place. Let's turn on snap, put it right here, and it looks like we're going to have to uh, grab one more of these just so it covers that little spot there. Okay, now um, let's do this uh, top piece here, and what I'm talking about for our next steps is going to be this fox thing here, and then the rest of this top here. We can just grab this, make sure we get every little piece of it, copy it over, 
and then just throw, get rid of this poster and throw this poster in here. We're not going to need the granite. And it looks like it doesn't need this top molding up here too. So now, uh, turn on edge faces again and delete which ones we don't need. So now we have this and all we got to do is grab it here and place it up here. This other piece here won't even show. So what do we have left? We have this top piece here. So let's go grab that. This top piece we, right here we don't even need because it, it ends. You see this, this pattern ends. So um, I would go back in here and delete these faces out. Uh, I think I think we need to do that. So um, just for consistency and for the sake of just making everything the same, um, I'm just going to go in here and cut these out because these are just extra faces that aren't part of the model. Okay. So I was talking actually about this piece here. So let's go over and see if we can find this. Looks like that's this piece. And it looks kind of uh, messed up right now, but uh, I assure you when our normals and textures are made, this will look uh, a lot better. Um, and it should, uh, it should go together quite well. So let's flip this up 90 degrees. And I'm going to move the pivot point. And see, that happens a lot too. If you're moving a pivot point over another object, um, it will snap anything that it's near. Uh, so a way to get around that is make sure your object is within the gray area of the scene, and then it can only snap to that one spot. So now let's snap this to here. Actually, sorry, it's going to be up here because it's to the face of it. It's not going to be behind. It's going to be in front. Um, I could show you that with these reference images. Um, it's going to go up here, not back here. Uh, and later on, we'll put in this uh, text lettering here. Uh, it's just kind of like a black glass, um, and it's going to be shiny. And uh, so let's uh, copy this over. Oops. Yeah, see, it did it again. So um, you really got to be careful when you're snapping pivots that you make sure you get it on the right what you want. There we go. An easy way to uh, make sure this is isolate the selection. Now there's nothing that's going to be in our way. Actually, it looks like I missed a piece here. This bottom piece, that, that was the piece that we cut out, that we just did right before this. We cut it, remember we cut it out of this back part? So we actually need that piece up front for this to be level, right here. So um, I believe that piece is already gone, but that's why it helps to create a, a backup of all your pieces because um, then you have that piece ready, which I don't have in this file, but I have in my other files uh, multiple versions that I can go back to and grab these pieces without having to redo all of the whole piece. So. Um, so we're going to need that piece there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that from one of my old files and then we'll continue. Okay, so here we are with this piece that I grabbed from the previous file. Um, the piece that we need is uh, this upper piece here. Just kind of get rid of all this stuff we don't need. And come back to this and delete the faces we don't need. It's going to be all of yeah, all of those ones. I just need the top part. And I'm going to change the pivot right to there. And then uh, grab this and snap it right up to here. Let's see if that was what our original one was supposed to look like. 
Eh, of course on the bottom, it doesn't line up. Select this, move it down. And then copy these ones. Which might be better to do it in isolated selection mode. Just so there's nothing in our way. Just gonna fast forward through this part here. Um, uh, these are all kind of repetitive actions, so um, I'm gonna still show them in the fast forwarding uh, part of it, but uh, uh, there's no need to go into it second by second. Uh, and it almost looks like this is over top of this, so uh, we're gonna solve that by selecting all this and then deselecting these two. And then I'm gonna move this back because I don't think it's a full width of on the side here, so it's probably more parallel with the rest. Actually, what am I gonna do? We don't need that right now. Because we're just gonna copy this whole right side to the left side. As soon as I move this piece. Which doesn't want to move too well. Uh, so if you're getting that problem, just move it to somewhere else and then move it to where you want. Okay. So I'm going to select everything, and then, because they're still in the group, so I'm going to group them again. And then control V, and then mirror it with no clone. Okay, and then I'm going to bring this over to here, and snap this piece back in. Now let's see what we got. Okay, so, uh, but basically our, our, our door facade is done. So, uh, I'm going to take a quick save. And um, that'll be it for this video. Uh, the next video we'll be making the other facade for the other doors that are to the sides of this.